Hello, my name is Beth Metlock. I am a sales engineer here at Lab Conco. Thank you for joining me today for my discussion on the new Protector Echo filtered fume hood. This podcast will discuss a brief background of ductless hoods and what separates the ductless hood classes from each other. Then I'll introduce you to the Protector Echo filtered fume hood and its features. After that, we'll talk about the testing of the unit and how it is different from a ducted fume hood with regard to testing, installation, and maintenance. And we'll finish up by talking about the energy savings. CIFA is the Scientific Equipment and Furniture Association. They are an organization that has definitions for different types of ductless enclosures and fume hoods. DH1 hoods are to be used with nuisance vapors only, as they are not required to have a sensor to tell the user if there is chemical breakthrough. DH2 hoods go a step beyond and do have a sensor, however they are not designed to provide secondary containment beyond the primary filter breakthrough. DH3 hoods are at the highest level in the ductless hood category. They must have a secondary filter made of the same media and efficiency as the primary filter. Therefore, a DH3 must always have two filters and a sensor in between to ensure if there is chemical breakthrough, there's a secondary filter to pick it up. The Protector Echo falls into this category, and in order to differentiate it from other ductless enclosures, we call it a filtered fume hood. Therefore, to be more than a ductless hood and to safely replace a ducted hood, a filtered fume hood must be designed for multiple users and usages. And to do that, it must filter, detect, communicate, and integrate. The filter must protect against a broad range of chemicals commonly found in research labs, such as solvents, acids, and bases. The hood should have a suite of sensors to detect when primary filtration stops and secondary filtration can maintain safety. The status of the hood should be known locally and remotely by users and EHNS, along with the history of use and conditions. The hood must also integrate into the lab with the required application. The Protector Echo filtered fume hood is available in four, five, six, and eight foot styles. It has the option for no windows, just side windows, or windows on the sides and back. Due to the filtration depth, it is only offered in 37.7 inches deep to fit a 36 inch work surface. The filter technology on the Protector Echo uses Neutrodyne filtration by Erlab. This is a comprehensive carbon filter that effectively filters acids, bases, and solvents, taking the guesswork out of choosing a filter type. LabConco also offers a floor-mounted version of the filtered fume hood to assist with applications when it is impossible to duct to your floor-mounted hood location. This hood type allows for applications with large equipment or carts and doesn't require any makeup air or vent connected to the outside. The G-Guard software is an accessory for the Protector Echo that allows the facility manager to keep tabs on everything the hood is doing. With the help of user cards, it can track duration of use to sash position and communicate every alarm that the hood experiences. The software can be set up to send an email to the facility manager, so if anything should happen to risk safety, it can be taken care of immediately. Other accessories include a HEPA filter for particulate use and wing accessories to allow the user to lift the sash to a higher working height while maintaining high enough face velocities to contain effectively. The Protector Echo filtered fume hood is tested differently than a ducted fume hood. The reason being the typical tracer gas used in the ducted fume hood containment test is sulfur hexafluoride, and that gas would go through the filters and exhaust into the laboratory when tested as installed. In LabConco's test lab, we were able to canopy the filters and use the standard test method and tracer gas, as well as the modified ASHRAE 110 containment test using isopropyl alcohol. Echo passed containment tests at 55 feet per minute face velocity, allowing for users to operate safely at the 16 inch sash location. A typical ducted hood has minimal maintenance after it is installed. The infrastructure and remote blower may take some extra effort but once they are set, there is minimal maintenance. 
With the Protector Echo, there is a maintenance schedule with filter and sensor changes that will need to be accounted for. With a ducted hood, the user can be a little more lenient with the chemicals used. The user does not have to worry about filling up the filters with certain chemicals or not being able to use certain chemicals at all. As long as the blower is functioning and nothing substantial changes with the airflow in the laboratory, a ducted hood can be used. A ducted fume hood can act as the laboratory exhaust to meet minimum air changes per hour. Since the filtered fume hood recirculates the air back into the laboratory, those laboratory air changes will have to be designed in somewhere else if a filtered fume hood is used. The issues with a ducted hood are that duct and blower installations are required, as well as the need for makeup air. Using a ductless or filtered fume hood allows the hood to operate without any makeup air, saving money for the lab. This is the short list of chemicals which are not compatible with the Protector Echo. These are chemicals which are naturally gaseous under normal temperature and pressure conditions with a very low boiling point of under 25 degrees Celsius. These are not allowed for use in the Echo. This is the long list of chemicals that have been tested with Neutrodyne filtration and have been proven to work. It is 13 pages long. This list has been developed for safety and is constantly being updated to expand the use of the Neutrodyne filtration. Due to the nature of chemistry applications, there are often many chemicals being used inside of a fume hood. Because we want to ensure safety for every ECHO application, a chemical assessment form must be filled out prior to each order to make sure that it is compatible with the filtration. This assessment requires the chemicals, duration of use, concentration, and other details about what will be used inside the fume hood. Even though there is no ductwork and blower, there is still an installation element to the protector echo. The light, fans, sensors, and filters need to be stacked upon each other once the hood arrives in the field. This is very similar to stacking Legos since they are held with gravity and do not require any snaps or adhesive. Once they are stacked, the sensor tubing needs to be hooked up, the hood needs to be plugged in, and the hood settings need to be established, then the hood can be used. As mentioned before, because this hood has filters and sensors, there is a maintenance aspect that needs to be considered when purchasing the Protector Echo filtered fume hood. This includes the filters, even if the filters never alarm with chemical breakthrough. They have a shelf life of five years. And also includes the sensors. The acid sensor needs to be replaced every two years. The hood will alarm to all of these maintenance issues. To illustrate one example of the energy savings the ECHO could provide to a project, this chart shows a comparison between three types of ducted fume hoods. A constant volume fume hood, a variable air volume fume hood, a variable air volume with high performance fume hood, and a filtered fume hood. Both the first costs, as well as the operating and maintenance costs, are much lower with the filtered fume hood. And that makes sense because the filtered fume hood does not require ductwork or installation through the walls or on the roof. It also does not require makeup air, so the energy savings is substantial since the air is just recirculating through the room and not being exhausted outside. For this project, a filtered hood is shown to benefit the customer, just like it could benefit many future projects. I want to thank you all for joining me today to discuss the new Protector Echo filtered fume hood. If you have any questions and wish to see if the Protector Echo would be a good fit for your project, please call LabConco at 1-800-821-5525.